simply getting an equal footing for women, having equal rights for women. An ideology that um, you know seeks to bring equity between the sexes. I think the people who represent feminism give it a bad rap. In my opinion, I think they tend to come off as a little bit too abrasive and every single time you have a new ideology, how you take it to the people is what determines whether the people will be comfortable to, you know, to engage with it or not. The people behind it uh, have used, have made, have, have made it to seem like it's uh, about women being better than men or being greater than men, when in actual fact it's just about equality, having, treating women the same way you treat a man and vice versa. I think it's brave and uh, more, more men should do it, if they truly understand the term of what feminist means. I honestly think every single man should identify as a feminist based on what feminism represents. It means that we should actually be comfortable with our, our sisters, our mothers and our daughters being allowed to live to their full potential. I would feel comfortable, I really don't mind. Would most Kenyan men? No, I don't think most Kenyan men would feel comfortable uh, being called feminist. I think I would be a better person and I would be in a better place if my wife was able to achieve her full potential and be able to explore all the things that you know she feels she was created for. For sure, I would love to see my daughter thrive and I would want you know the, the, the community to be able to provide the infrastructure for her to do so. So yes, I would without a doubt. My upbringing, uh, my mother and my, the women around me, who, and also my father, who taught me that women should, be, uh, should not be treated any differently. Everyone should be entitled to a fair go and to be treated as a human being first and their gender second. General fairness dictates that we should actually allow each other to be able to you know, explore um, your full potential as a human being. And uh, if we have um, ideologies or infrastructures or policies that prohibit one um, sector of society from achieving so, that can never be fair. It actually does. Um, in all honesty, I think we've come a long way. There is some, some, some road to be travelled, uh, as a matter of fact, and, and, and we all need to be cognizant of the same fact. And obviously, even for the people who always push for the feminism agenda, you need to be very clear of the gains that you know, you've already gotten and the way that you need to go for you to be able to get to um, the place you need to be. I think it really does because there's a lot of situations of uh, women, of laws being made by men for women, uh, which really don't make sense. I think we can, we can see what gender equality has, has done when we look at things like government with the women representatives. I think in corporate Kenya, uh, women having an equal foot into men, I think that's really happening and ongoing. Where we see it lacking is from a legislative point of view. In the workplace, I think we all bring something different to the table. And if you do not allow the other person to, to, to bring that diversity of their ideas, of their capabilities, then you miss out a lot on, in terms of, of bringing quality and value to the organization. Then we are not allowing ourselves to, you know, to live to our full potential, both at home and at work as well. I think for men primarily it's to style up. I guess it's tell them like times are changing. Uh, adapt or you will be forced to adapt to the changing tide because uh, women should be treated as equal as men or, or women should be given some sense of equality. Let the other person who doesn't you know, subscribe to the same viewpoint as you be able to understand where you're coming from, what you need to you know, accomplish, and then be able to walk from that point with you. If I am able to understand your point of view based on where you're coming from, convince me. Let me know that there is actually value in uh, walking the journey with you. I think they should be clear. They should be clear on what feminism stands for. It's been put out as chastising men, as opposed to putting women on an equal footing to men. Um, so it's the narrative that has been peddled by these activists. So for me, I don't mind. I think it's the story you're telling. 